What's up guys? Today's the day and I finally got all the parts for the CQ9 swap in the one JZS13 and uh, all I needed was a drive shaft and the trans mount and I'm set. So I got that. I got, um, I also got a GK Tech shifter. So uh, the column shifter I have that Adam gave to me is uh, a little worn out and uh, I don't like it at all. So I got a new shifter to put in and then that's it. It's done. It's finally happening. I'm stoked and ready to uh, get this car on the road and drive it again and drift and have fun. Um, but I also, also got some small little things that's gonna help with heat and stuff like that. I got this heat wrap right here for my water line for the turbo so the water in there can stay a little bit cooler. I'm just doing everything I can to um, prevent from happening before. So I got this heat, uh, all heat wrapped so it uh, contains some heat. I got all this heat wrapped and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna get these wrapped up with the, uh, the heat wrap over there and um, that's pretty much it after that. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this is temporary. This is this is not me, I, I don't like this. Um, so I'm gonna do dash 20 and line from here all the way to here and also from the bottom water, ne the bottom water neck to the radiator as well. Um, not right now, that's later in the future, but I wanna mention that because this looks really freaking nice. And then you have this like rinky dink like tube with the damn temp sensor bullcrap thing. I don't, I don't like that. So, that's the plan. That's the plan for today, and uh, I'm not gonna do it right now. I just, I just mocked up the drive shaft the first time, and it fits perfectly. That doesn't usually happen with custom drive shafts, and it fits great. I'm stoked, and uh, yeah, that's the plan. So right now, it's like one, two o'clock in, in the day. It's beautiful outside. I just got back from FD from the first half of Formula Drift Orlando, and. Uh, it went really well, it teamwork great. We didn't qualify sadly, but that's okay. Atlanta's next week and we're gonna freaking shred it. So, yeah, I took my normal job, um, took my day off my normal job today so I can uh, have a little bit of a rest day, catch up with some things, and then finish this tonight once Clark gets off work. Cause I can do all this myself, but uh, I need a little, little bit of a hand with the shifter and uh, bleeding the clutch and bleeding the brakes. You can't do that by yourself. You can, but like, it's really annoying. But he's coming later and we're gonna chill and do this thing. But as of now, I'm gonna go edit, so I'll see you guys in like three, four hours. Oh, one more thing. I know it was, you know, small touches and, and stuff like that while I'm building this car and redoing everything. So I thought it'd be cool to get rid of this nasty looking looking intake for a nice AM drive flow intake. Thank you to Adam for that. Stoked on that. Looks much better, much more professional, and it'll probably function way better than this old nasty rinky dink crappy filter that's uh trash now. So now we got a nice AM drive flow intake and uh Hopefully that'll help with uh, more, uh, it looks good and it, 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 it performs better. So, stoked, this one looks so good. Oh. I have finished editing pretty early and my friends are not here yet. So, first thing I'm gonna do is take care of this ugly shifter. I'm gonna take it apart, take it out of the trans, and then get this thing out of there because uh, it's time to go bye-bye. Time for some new, nice shifting. So, that being said, I'll get started on this. But that being said, I'm just letting you guys know what's going on and the process for tonight. So. First step, like I said, I'm gonna do the shifter. Second step is going to be the dry, uh, the trans mount. Well, shifter, take it apart, put the new one on, trans mount, drive shaft. Fill the trans with the Nissan OEM fluid, and then start it up, bleed the clutch. No, bleed the clutch, then start it up, and go drive. I think I have to bleed the brakes too. Yeah, I gotta do that too. So, you got a few things on the list tonight to do. Don't wanna take that long, but I'm gonna get started now. I went with the GK Tech shifter for the CD09. New shifter, went with the uh, shifter kit. Went with the shifter kit from GK Tech, shout out to Dan Brockett and uh, Taylor Ray for getting me this sick deal on this shifter. Stoked on this, thank you guys so much. I was gonna have a package with it, actually use it. The bracket thingy, there's all the hardware. And then, here's all, the, here's the, the important part. All well, this foam is nice and packaged. Oh, I got some stickers in here, I think. Wait, wait, yeah. There you go. Okay, that's a stick. Okay, boom. Thank you guys, appreciate it. So, hardware, the mount thingy that I don't know what it does, I'll figure it out. And then here's the actual rod, chip the rod itself. This thing's super dope and super nice. Let's fuck with it. So, all right, so shifter's right here. Here's the bracket right here. This obviously goes in like this, some sort of way. And then it mounts the train from here, here, and here. And then I got the hardware right here. 
So Brian's gonna be here in a second. He works a lot with Studio Nines. I know how to do this, but I want him to explain it and do it with me so it's done properly the first time and not three times of me trying to do it and being stupid. So that's the plan. He'll be here in a second. So when, I, when he gets here, we'll start tackling this. For, so for now, yeah, this looks nice. Thanks again, guys. Thank you. All right, so the part, the most annoying part about doing a shift throw on any car or most of the Studio Nine is the little pin that goes into the input shaft thingy and uh, Roll pin. Roll pin, yeah. So, uh, it's not that hard, but once you get it, it looks nice. But, it's probably the most annoying part of the whole thing. But we got it in, and now, it's time to put the actual shifter in the trans. After that, drive shaft, bleed clutch, and drive this motherfucking thing. All right, so the shifter's in. There's a little bracket right here that mounts to the trans, and then it goes up from there. And two more bolts up there, and it's pretty much in. It's really easy and self-explanatory. But uh, yeah, super nice, and hopefully it works good. So oh, trans mount is going on. Have a little bit of issues with fitment, but that's kind of known for some things. You know, it's all right, but it's getting there. We're almost done, and then we'll be fully set to uh, go to drive shaft in, bleed the clutch, and then hopefully it'll uh, move for once on its own power. It's the first time in like six months, so. We're getting there, it's almost done. But uh, so far, so good. Threading nicely. Ish. But like I said, it, it, it happens, but it's going good. Oh, it's on by itself. Hell yeah. <laughs> there you go. No more jack. Look at that. Finally. Finally. Jesus Christ. Damn it. Now I need that 12. All right, so we got the whole team's here. They've been here like every night for the past like 5,000 years in this fucking dumbass car. I think Tiffany's had enough of it. I'm so old. I have, I have had enough. Yeah, but guess what? It's gonna work. Anyway. I'm so old. Anyway, Clark's doing the brakes with, well, re the brakes with Jacob because like when we had it all out, we obviously had to re it because there was no fluid and anything in there. So, they're doing that. Brian's tightening the trans mount. I'm getting things ready. Is it done? Yeah. Drive shaft time. Ooh, my volts are over there. Okay, yeah. All right, so drive shaft is in. Earlier today, I mocked it up and it fits perfectly fine, which is really unusual, but in a good way, because like sometimes people don't make the right measurements and it's too long or too short. I need a, But we got it back first try and it worked, so need, let's do oh, it. Ooh, uh, that feel good? You get piped up? Bolts. They're back here, hang on. All right, so drive shaft's going in. You got bolts? Yep. All right. I'm coming. Let's get it. Get it. Not to get in order. Here, oh my god, this is happening. I'm so oh stoked. What the fuck? Here we go. Oh. Oh. Should insert the SpongeBob meme where it's like. Can you put it in gear? Jacob, put, put it in gear. Yep. Damn it. You right? I'm having trouble getting my shaft in the hole. <laughs> or actually, your shaft in the hole. Maybe that's weird. Why it's so weird. <laughs> Fucking god, dude. I, I got in the whole first try earlier, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> when you're using your own equipment. <laughs> hey, oh, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, that, was, that was smooth. That felt good. No lube. Oh, that felt oh, good. Oh, god. oh, yes. All right, here's the. All right, take uh, it out of gear. Thank you. Isn't that crazy how perfect that is? Yeah, that fits really nice. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's time to fill the trans up where you get one bottle in. Like I said, do not use anything else. Anything. I don't give a shit. Who you are, or what you say, or what, but this Nissan OEM Trans Fluid 7585, nothing else, only this. No Moltul, no fucking nothing, but this. See that Nissan? Just that. Japan, Japanese JDM, only this. Or your synchros will go fucked. So use this. <laughs> After Trans Fluids in, we have bleed the clutch, and then I think that's it. Oh no, bleed the clutch, put the exhaust on, plug the uh, AFR OTU thingy in, and then. Uh, it's time to drive this thing. Hopefully the clutch bleeds right and the, the, the internal slave cooperates. Please, God, because I'm not going to deal with that ever because I'm out of patience. So, it's done. Pretty much. I'm so, I'm out of patience. Yeah. No, I'm shulminator now. That's what they call me. Uh, trans is in, drive shaft's in, uh, fluid's in the trans. Um, um, yeah, it's done. And now we gotta bleed the clutch. And then we had a vacuum bleeder, which we would get to do the pump fluid in there, so it's not dry when you do it, but it's not working. Well, it's not working. It's, it's the thing, the fucking... It's a GM fucking bleeder fitting, and it's huge. 
Yeah, huge. Anyway, huge. Um, it's not working because this right here is too small to go on the on the thingy. So we're just gonna kind of send it. Hopefully, and we're gonna not gonna fully like press the clutch. In. We're gonna just like like five percent and then like slowly work our way up so it doesn't uh, bleed it while it's dry. So it's not yeah, dry. it's yeah, it's not dry. It's this, just this like this master has been used before. It has fluid in the line. Right, I'm saying the, the, the actual the slave, slave itself. The slave is dry. Right, slave is dry. So that's the, that's what we're doing, yeah. I'm really nervous. Oh God, okay, please work. Please. Good? Yep. All right, so the car is officially done. There's nothing else to do. It's gonna drive tonight. I'm hoping the clutch works properly. Everything goes smoothly. I'm pretty nervous, so I'm really hoping it works. So, here goes nothing. So nervous. Yo, hey, so we're having issues with the car right now. Um, I don't know what it is. I think I'm just low on fuel, but like, I, I didn't change anything or anything like that. So, I, it won't, sorry, it just cranks and cranks and cranks and cranks. So, I mean, I have fuel pressure, I have plenty of fuel, but like, I'm really low on fuel. I don't, that could be the issue, but like, I don't know why I didn't, I didn't change anything. The car started fine first try and everything. So, I don't know. So, I'm gonna get gas right now and put it in and see what happens. Uh -huh. 